You tweeted this out uh, yesterday. So for the first time since t March 29th of 2011, Cavs have defeated a LeBron James-led opponent. Um, eight straight wins overall. So again, it's just that means more probably to the Cavs fan base than anything. Yeah, and you know, I think it means a little something to the franchise because – you know, you go in and you continuously lose to LeBron James. Uh, it, it really would have been a disappointment yesterday in the sense that the Cavs truly are the better team this season. And I, I wrote this in my column, Dave, and this isn't an insult towards LeBron. But if you look at it now, the way through these first eight, eight nine games, Donovan Mitchell is the better player. He's a better player than LeBron James is right now. And... When you're the Cavs, you don't want to lose a game like that where you're the better team. You've got the best player on the floor probably, other than maybe Anthony Davis. It would be a disappointment to go in and lose to a team that, you know, at the times two and six, really struggling to find their way in the Lakers. And, and just to go in there and lose to that team would have been a disappointment, first of all. But then, yes, to lose to LeBron James again, uh, I just, I, I, it just wouldn't have been a great look, especially when you had the game that was so close. And um, frankly, you're the superior team. You've shown that all year. And I really think them winning in Los Angeles against LeBron is like a huge lift off their shoulders uh, to make them realize, you know what, we are the team that we say we are, and we're not going to be intimidated by anybody, even the guy who came to Cleveland and helped us win a championship in 2016. Uh, I, I think that I think that that was really a big psychological lift to a team that otherwise has been coasting anyway. <laughs>